Because the Lord is always with us. Because the Lord will always have a reason to take us there. Because the Lord will always have a reason to take us there. Because the Lord will always have a reason to take us there. Because the Lord will always have a reason to take us there. And therefore this morning I want us to read from 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4 verse 1 to 3. Uh, it says that is our guiding verse. Uh, the Bible says we are troubled on every side. Yet distressed, we are perplexed, but not in despair. Pande zote tuwa dihakika, bali hatu songwe. Tuwa wana shaka, bali hatu kati tamaa. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Tuwa udhiwa, bali hatu wachu. Tuwa tupa chini, bali hatu wangamizwe. Brethren, exactly that is who we are. Wapendu wakabisa hivyo ni watu livyo. As long as we say yes to the Lord. Ilimdari tulisema ndiyo kwa buwana. That is where we are. And we would better get used to being there. Hapo ni poto lipa na basi sharti tuzoe kwa pale. Until the Lord Jesus comes back for us. Hata waka yesu wataka poto rujia. Because then that is when we shall have our rest. Uh, now, uh, let me just explain briefly from the from the dictionary what a storm is. So a storm in simple terms can be said to be a violent disturbance Eza kwa kisuli suli chenye msuko suko Of the atmosphere with strong winds Ya mazingira kwenye upepo mkali Accompanied with rain Iunga kiunganishwa na mvua Thunder Amen And sometimes lightning Radi na pamoja na pia na ule ulimbe wa maradi That is storm as we understand it in the physical Yo ni mawimbi katika hali ya kawaida Tunawaelewa Now in the spiritual Lakini katika ulimungu wa roho Storms manifest also in different ways Mawimbi ya nadirika pia kwa njia balibali They can be called calamities Eneza kuwa ya ni majanga They can be called hardships Eneza kuhita ukugumu And they also come in different shapes and different sizes Na pia nakuja katika hali chofa uchofa uti And one Good thing that the Lord has said. That even though we go through all these things, He will not forsake us. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, uh, let me just read from the Bible. Let me 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 read from the Bible. They go through storms. Wanapitia mawindi. The question is, when we are going through storms, how do we behave? Swali ni jee, tunapopitia mawindi, tunakua na tabia ya namna gani. And the Bible has told us in that verse that we read. Ibele na tuwabia kwenye kumba mbalo tumesoma. That even people of God experience great suffering. Ya kumba watu walifiria kumba uzoefu na leta kusumbuka, na kuteseka. We go through persecution of varied kinds. Tunapitia mateso ya ali na tofauti tofauti. But the Bible says we are not forsaken. Nakini bibi na sema ya kwamba hatu hatu. We are not cast down. Hatu chupu chini. We are not destroyed. Hatu haribiki. The Lord allows us to go through these issues. Bona na turusi tupitia haya maswala. The storms of life include things like sicknesses, mawimbi ya maisha ni pamoja na mambo kama magonjo, financial struggles, ukosefu wa fedha. And sometimes as parents we have children and they are not measuring to our standards or expectations. Muda mwingine au kama wazazi tuna watoto lakini hawaenendi kama tunavyotarajia. Those are storms of life. Hayo ni masumbuko ya maisha. Sometimes we go through sicknesses. Muda mwingine tunapitia magonjo. Mengine hayana tiba Those are storms of life Ayo ni mawibi ya maisha 
Lakini Biblia inasema hatuachwi. We may feel like really we come to the last moment of our life. Tunaona kana kwamba kabisa tumefika mwisho wa maisha kulingana na hali. But the Bible assures us that we are not destroyed. Lakini Biblia inatuhakikishia ya kwamba hatuangamizwi. So as long as we go through these things and we know. Kwa hiyo mradi tunapitia mambo na tunafahamu. Who is accompanying us? Ni nani anayenenda pamoja nasi? Ni nani anatusaidia? We shall not give up. Hatutakata tamaa. We shall come unto this God. Tutamshikilia huyu Mungu. We shall call upon his name every other time. Tutalitia jina lake kila muda wowote. Why did those comes? Wakati tunapitia hayo mawili. And he'll come through for us. Na atajitokeza kwa ajili yetu. Now let me also explain that these comes come in varied that said that they come in varied shapes sizes. Acha pia nieleze kwa maana ya mawimbi yanakuja kwa njia tofauti tofauti na pia uzito wake ni tofauti Now the Lord allows us to go through them depending on the grace that he has put upon our lives Kwa hiyo Bwana anatuzu tuyapitie kulingana na ile neema ambayo ametupa maisha yetu So whatever storm you go through in life Kwa kila mawimbi unapitia maisha Yes know that that is what the Lord has allowed because he knows you are able to go through it. Fahamu tu kwamba Bwana ameruhusu hiyo kwa ajili anajua kwamba utaimudu utaweza. You know sometimes we may look at some people and wonder eh how come this one are forever going through this and that. Muda wote tunaangalia mtu kwa sababu kwamba mbona huyo anapitia haya na haya kila muda. It is not for us to sympathize with them. Sio kwa nini yeye sisi kuwahurumia? Because the Lord has given them enough grace to go through it. Kwa sababu na mwapa neema ya kutosha kuyamudu hayo. We can only pray for them that the Lord increases that grace. Tunaombea tu ya kwamba Bwana aongeze hiyo neema. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, all of us will go through a number of things even as we look at storms of life. Uh, one thing is that when, when God allows us, in fact, it's, it's God who allows us. He does not bring the storms in our ways. He allows, but he does not bring. So when he allows, Yomi langu wa shubu ya leo Ya kumbali tuwa mrejele ya yeye So that he can also allow us Go through the storms comfortably Ili pia aturuhusu tukitele mawimbi Kwa uzuri Or to the level that he wants us to go through them Kwa kiwango wa macho yeye mwenye wa anataka tuyapitie It is important to note at this point Nijamba na msingi kujua kwa sasa hivi That people of God will not proceed in this life without pain. Ya kama watu wa Mungu hawataendelea katika ya maisha bila uchungu. Will be tested and tried. Watajaribiwa even as we journey home. Hata wakati tunafanya safari ya kwenda nyumbani. Um, I think long time ago when I was still uh, young. Zama kidogo nilipokuwa bado ni mdogo. I would look at people who are confessing salvation and they are going through troubles. Ningewaangalia watu wanaomkiri wako na ukiri wako na wanapitia matatizo. Then because of lack of understanding I would wonder what the way is they are going. Na kwa sababu ya kutoelewa ningejiuliza kwani Mungu wao yuko wapi? But now I think I've matured a little. Kisa hivi nimekomaa kiasi. Kwa hiyo ni leo ya kwamba lazima tupitie hiyo. Haya majaribu lazima tuyapitie. Na kwa nini tuyapitie? Ili kwa masiku moja tusimame pamoja na Kristo na tuseme tumeshinda. Je, umeshinda nini kama huko huko na vita? Uwezi kuongea kuhusu kushinda wakati hakuna kungangana sehemu yoyote. Ili mradi tu Yesu alipitia mateso. Alipitia majaribu na akashinda. Kwa hiyo sharti na sisi tupitie hayo. Ili kama si mwisho wa siku tunaweza kusema pamoja naye na kusherehekea. Tunaweza kusema hili na lile Bwana kama sio wewe usingeweza kumudu. Amen. Uh, now all us look at uh, uh, types of storms that we go through in life so that when we encounter them nayo, 
We can also ask ourselves now which one is this I'm going to. Then that will help us also how to overcome. So the first one are strong of obedience. These are tests and trials. Then the second one is obedience. Then the third one is obedience. That we face as a direct result of accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Ima wito na kuna na yao kama nana yaku abadi kama tokio la sisi kumkubali Yesu Kristo kama bwana na mokozi wa maisha yetu. That day you said yes to the Lord. Ile siku lipo sema ndio kwa bwana. You are accepting to go through these kinds of storms. Uli kubali kupitia aina hii ya mawingi. These are storms that will test your love for the Lord. They will test your obedience to the word of God. And so when they come our way, let us be careful. So that we don't start passing God again. When He's giving us an opportunity. Tumatua in his ways. Ya zake. Tumatua in his word. Ya kukua katika neno lake. Praise the Lord. Amen. I would like us to read uh, from Luke 12 to 1. Nomba tusome Luka 12. Shirina moja. 51. Kamsini na moja. How I wish you would give me a simpler version, my friend. Yes, that one is better. The Bible says, Do you think I came to smooth things over and make everything nice? Not so. See if you have come to disrupt and confront. Praise the Lord. Amen. These words come from our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, "Do not think that I brought you peace. I have not brought you a life that will just run smoothly from the one to the last day of the month." He says, "I brought you confrontation." It means that we must be ready for this confrontation. And the Lord Jesus could not have said this if He didn't know. And that is why the moment we say yes to the Lord, we may the things are about to come up. Things that would even come from your own family. You will be rejected by your family members. You will be despised by them. You will be despised by them. You will be despised by them. And especially if you happen to have financial issues. Sana sana kama una masuala ya kifedha. You know the prof the wali imagine that you are very alright what you have money. Unajua watu wa ulimwengu wanadhani uko vizuri sana wakati uko vizuri kifedha. But the Lord did say that we shall move through this life smoothly. Lakini Bwana akusema kwamba tutaenda tu kirahisi rahisi. He brought us confrontation. Alituletea mafarakano with those in our family members pamoja na wao kwenye familia zetu with our relatives pamoja na ndugu zetu even in our places of work hata sehemu tunakofanyia kazi as long as we confess Jesus Christ ni mradi umemkiri Yesu if it so happens that your boss is not saved ikiwa tu boss wako hajamkiri Yesu then you are in trouble basi upo taabani but you must be prepared lakini uwe tayari because you are not creating a place of work for yourself kwa sababu haujitengenezei sehemu ya kufanyia kazi mwenyewe you will work there until it the Lord allows you to live. So you have to ask for His grace every day. Because the Lord, as He put it in that word, He has not brought us peace. Praise the Lord. Amen. We can also read from James one three four. James one three four. Waraka wa Yakobo. Because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. As perseverance must finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. 
Sabuni na iwe na kazi kikamilifu, mpate kwa wakamilifu na watimilifu bila kupungukiwa na neno. Praise the Lord. Amen. We cannot talk of perseverance where things are just moving smoothly. Uwezi kuongea kuhusu sabuni sehemu ambako mambo yanaenda tu vizuri. But the Bible tells us that we must go through perseverance. Biblia inasema ya kwamba lazima tuwe na uvumilivu. For our work to appear to be complete at the end of the day. Ili kazi yetu kuonekana inakamilika mwisho wa siku. For us to be matured up. Ili sisi tuwe watu ambao tumekomaa. So that one of these days when the Lord comes. Ili siku moja bwana anapokuja. We shall not be lacking in anything. Hatutakosa kitu chochote. And so the Lord allows us to go through issues. Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo bwana anaturuhusu kupitia masuala mawimbi. Confrontations with those we work with. Mafarakano pamoja na wale tunaofanya kazi nao. Confrontations with those that we live with. Mafarakano na wale tunaoishi nao. And that is how he allows us to mature up. Na hivyo ndivyo anaturuhusu kukomaa. Kwa sababu kama watu wapitia haya tuna nafasi yote ya kusema kwamba sisi ni washindi, tumeshinda katika yeye. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us also read in Romans 8. Pia tusome Warumi 8. 17 to 18. 17 na 18. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his glory. Na kama tu watoto, basi tu waridi, waridi wa Mungu, waridio pamoja na Kristo. Naam, tukiteswa pamoja naye ili tupate kutukuzwa pamoja naye. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is what the Lord has made us to be. Ili ndilo Bwana ametufanya kuwa. Sisi kuwa. We are not just passers by. Kama sisi wapita njia tu. The moment he called us. Kipindi alituita Alitufanya waridi Waridi pamoja na mwanae Yesu Kristo Na hiyo ni sababu kuu ya kwa nini tupitie mateso wa kwa Yesu Kristo alikitia Tukifahamu fika ya kwamba kuna jambo kuu zaidi baada ya hiyo Tushashiriki katika utukufu wake na yeye Hii ni ya kutia moyo sana ili kwa mba tunapopitia mawibi ya mwesha tunapopitia Tunajua ya kwa mba siku wa bure Siku wa sababu wa kuna sababu Atuteswi bila sababu Tunandaliwa kwa hili ya utukufu Uwa utukufu wa milele Amen Tu awada suluka at Amen Type two of the storms of life that we go through. Aina ya pili ya mawimbi tunayopitia. These are storms of disobedience. Aya ni mawimbi ya kutoti. Or correcting storms. Au mawimbi ya kuturekebisha. Now these ones are man-made storms, so I call them. Aya ni mawimbi ya mawimbi ya natengenezo na manadamu. These are storms that are based on our choices. Aya ni mawimbi ya noto kana na ukuwa muzi wetu. The things that we do in life. Mamba tunaya ya fanya maishani. They will bring us at some point to these storms. Ya naweza kwa kati plani kutuletea mawimbi ya namna hii. Now we all know that our God is very gracious. Tunajua vizuri kwa mba mungu wetu ni mwenye rehema. And God has given us a conscience. Na ametupa damira. That conscience and Hilo damire ya tusaidia kupitia maisha Kila muda kukula ujafanya kitu Kuna hile kumbusho flani Usifanya hicho lakini tenda hicho Lakini umisho wa siku mungu anatulusu kufanya uamuzi kwa sababu mungu hajataka sana kuingiliana na maamuzi yetu Lakini kia tunambiwa maamuzi ya naleta matukio flani So that is now where we are. Apo niko tulipo. Sometimes we choose to do things. Muda mungine tunamua kufanya mambo. That go against the commands of God. Ya nao enda kinyume na mapezi ya mungu. At the moment we choose. Na muda tunapo chagua hayo. God allows us to go ahead. Mungu anaturusu kuendele. Because we are responsible for our actions. Kwa sababu tunawajibikia matendo yetu. 
Now this happens to us very many times in life. Hii inatokea kwetu mara nyingi sana maishani. We are told do this and we do the other. Unaambiwa tena hivi na unafanya tofauti. Then eventually we get into trouble. Mwishoni tunajipata taabani. Uh, sometimes they say mtoto akilia wembe. Mpe. So when we are given the rest of land, tunapopewa wembe. Now again we start complaining. Tena tunaanza kulalamika. We start crying to the same God. Tunaanza kumlilia Mungu mwenyewe. Because our God is good. Lakini Mungu wetu ni mzuri. He allows us to go through these kinds of storms as a wake up call. Anaturuhusu kupitia mawimbi ya namna hii kama njia ya kutuamsha. So that the moment we start crying unto him. Ili wakati tunaanza kumlilia, he allows us back to himself again. Anaturuhusu tumrejelee kwake tena. That's how wonderful our God is. Hivyo ndivyo walivyo waajabu Mungu wetu. He allows us an opportunity to go back to him. Anatupa fursa ya kurudi kwake. But for those who for one reason or the other they are not able to go back to the Lord. Lakini kwa wengine kwa sababu moja au nyingine hawatawezesha kurudi kwa Mungu. This is where now people commit suicide. Hapa ndipo sasa watu wanajitia kitanzi. They are getting involved in things that they have contributed to themselves. Watu wanajikuta kwenye mambo ambayo wenyewe ndio wamesababisha. But when it gets to some level, lakini napofikia kiwango fulani, it were not for God's grace. Kama hivyo kwa kwa neema ya Mungu. So those who uh, operate under the grace of God, wewe ndio unaotenda chini ya neema ya Mungu. He allows us to go back to him. Anaturuhusu kumrudia. And once we do that, he accepts us. Tunapofa muda anapoturuhusu hivyo tukirudi anatukubali. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is how wonderful our God is. Hivyo ndivyo alivyo ajabu Mungu wetu. Imagine as parents sometimes we get so much annoyed with our children when they do funny things. Mungu wazia wakati mwingine kama wazazi tunakasirika na watoto tunapofanya machukizo fulani. And then sometimes even when they come back and say I'm sorry we think this one is enjoying. Kama muda mwingine akija akikwambia mama niko sorry unaona kama vile anapoenjoy. But imagine our God is not like that. Lakini Mungu wetu hayupo hivyo. He allows us the opportunity. Anatupa ile fursa. So the only way to go back to him is to trace our lives where we went from. Konchi atia hapo tulipoangukia. Where things fell apart in our lives. Hapo mambo yalipoanza kuharibikia maisha yetu. Once we do that, tunapofanya hivyo, God allows us the opportunity. Mungu anatupa fursa because the Lord loves us. Kwa sababu Mungu anatupenda. Anatujali. Uh, a story in mind uh, that Maybe I will not read through it and paraphrase. It's the story of Jonah in the Bible. In Yadisi, Iola, in the Biblia. We all know this story. Neva, we Yadisi. Jonah, chapter one. Iola, mo, Jesus, ya kwanza. Verse one to seventeen. We will not go through it because of time. To take some of us to be amida. Now, this is one person who disobeyed God. We know how Jonah was supposed to go and preach to the people of Nineveh. He chose to do the opposite. To go to Tarshish, and he came to Tarshish. And we know what happened. What happened? Jonah was swallowed up by this fish. Mushoe, he came to the fish. He came to the fish. But God is faithful and merciful. Lakini Mungu ni mwaminifu na mwenye rehema. God allows him even to come out of the fish. Mungu tena anamruhusu kutoka ndani ya samaki. He allows him to complete the task that he had given. Anamruhusu kukamilisha jukumu aliyokuepo amempa. And this is how faithful our God is. Na hivi ndivyo alivyo mwaminifu Mungu wetu. This is how merciful our God is. Hivyo ndivyo alivyo mwenye rehema Mungu wetu. And you can remember if you read through the whole of this story of Jonah. Unaposoma hadithi ya Yona yote. Even at the end of the day when Jonah has done his work. Hata mwisho wa siku wakati Yona ametengeleza kazi yake. And the people of Nineveh have repented. Na watu wa Nineveh wametubu. Down and asks himself. You mean God, you are not punishing them again? Then you know you wonder like why did he go to preach to them? Why did he go to preach to them? But remember that is how we can be are as human beings. But remember that is how we can be are as human beings. But by the mercies of God, God allows us. Then we are the time to go back to Him. Mungu anaturusu kila muda kumrejele. So once we realize we are operating under this type of Kwa hiyo tunapokuwa kama tunapitia mawimbi ya namna hii sehemu yetu ni kumrejelea Mungu katika toba na Bwana atatusamehe atatuurejesha sisi kwake mwenyewe amen The third storm type of storm. Aina ya tatu ya mawimbi these are storms of purification haya ni mawimbi ya utakaso 
God uses these kinds of stones to prune us. Mungu anatumia aina hii ya mawindi kututengeneza. When he realizes that there are things in our lives that do not glorify his name. Anapogumea kwamba kuna mtu yasompa utukufu. In his own wisdom, kati wenyewe, he allows us moments to have what is not of him shadow. Anaruhusu yale ambayo sio yake yaondolewe. Tells us in his word in Hebrews 12. Anatoa katika Waebrania 12:6 to 8. 6 na 8. Because the Lord disciplines those he loves, he punishes everyone he accepts as a son. Maana yeye ambaye ni bwana ampenda kumrudi, naye humpiga kila mwana amkubalie. If you are hardships as discipline God is treating you as sons for what son is not disciplined by his father Na kwa ajili ya kurudiwa mstahimili Mungu awatendea kama wana maana ni mwana yupi asiyerudiwa na babaye If you are not disciplined and everyone and the boss discipline Then you are legitimate children and not true sons. Basi kama mkiwa hamna kurudiwa ambapo ni fungu la wote ndipo umekuwa wana wa haramu ninyi wala si wana wa Lord. Amen. The Lord displays us. Mungu huturudi ama utupiga out of love. Kwa hiyo kutokana na upendo. Because we are his children. Kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wake. Because we are sons. Sisi ni wana because we are heirs and co-heirs with Christ. Sisi ni warithi tena So when we get to moments when things are not right according to the standards of God. Kwa tunapofikia mahali mambo hayaendi vizuri sawa sawa na na mpangilio wa Mungu. God allows us to be pruned. Mungu anaruhusu ya kwamba tutengenezwe. Now we all know that uh, pruning as we know it as it happens even to the trees that we prune at home tunajua namna ya kutengeneza kama hata kule miti nyumbani tunapotengeneza you know sometimes it involves in fact in most cases it involves moving a whole branch or a, you know that kind of thing wakati mwingine ina ina inaleta kuondoa hata matawi kwa jumla kwenye huo mti that means there is pain involved hiyo ina maana ya kwamba kuna uchungu unaohusika So it's only those who allow themselves to be grown by God. Kwa hiyo wale tu wanaoruhusu Mungu kuwachonga is only those who will accept whatever discipline that the Lord will give. Ni wale tu ambao watakubali namna gani ya kurudiwa na Mungu ambapo kutakuja. That will be purified. Hao tu ndio watakao takasika. For us to be sons. Ili sisi kuwa wana that he loves. Ambao anawapenda we must accept this plan sharti tukubali kutengenezwa the lord loves us bwana anatupenda but he hates the sins that we commit lakini anachukia dhambi tunazozitenda and because of that love he keeps pursuing us na kwa sababu ya huo upendo anaendelea kutufuatilia following us and kutufuatilia and sometimes allowing us to go through these moments of pain na muda mwingine anaturuhusu kupitia majira haya ya uchungu so that after that ili baada ya hiyo as we look at the scars tunapoangalia kwenye yale makovu after the pruning baada ya kuchongwa then we will keep steady fast in our walk with the lord basi tutakuwa imara katika kutembea kwake So brethren, kwa hiyo wapendwa. Let us count it as a blessing. Wacha tuhesabu kuwa baraka when we are disciplined by the Lord. Wakati tunarekebishwa na Mungu. It's not a curse. Sio laana. Remember I said earlier on that the Lord allows us enough grace. Kumbuka nilisema mwanzo ya kwamba Mungu anaruhusu neema ya kutosha in whatever situation that he allows our way. Kwa kila hali ambayo anaileta kwetu to go through ili tuipitie so that at the end of the day ili mwisho wa siku we can look back and see that indeed this one God you allowed me and you helped me to manage it tunaanza kujiona maana kusema kika bwana hii uliruhusu mwenyewe na ulinisaidia kuimudu praise the lord amen and from what the bible says is that last verse so kama ile bila nasema kwenye hilo fungu la mwisho If you are an illegitimate child to your parents, kama ni mwana wa haramu kwa wazazi wako, sometimes they may not be as keen on this thing you. Muda mwingine wale wasio makini sana kwenye kukutia adabu as they would be with the illegitimate child of that house. Kama wanapofanya na wale wana wa halali wa hiyo nyumba. 
So if we are legitimate children in the house of the Lord, then let us also accept to be corrected. Sometimes we are corrected by God's servants. Uh, sometimes situations come our way. But we uh, decide to close our eyes. When servants of God mention what they think they should mention to us, sometimes we mistake them. But remember, God has put in place various measures of correcting us. So, brethren, let us be key. Let us not be people who just brush off things. Sometimes um, it happens in most cases again with our youth. So it's like when an elderly person corrects them. They say, ah, you are an what do you know? Let us not be that type. Because God uses people that he has put in our lives to correct us. And it is for us to obey. So that we can move together with the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, finally, I want us to look at the stones of heartbreak. We all know that we live in a fallen world. We all know that we live in a fallen world. We all know that we live in a fallen world. We all know We all know We 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 suffer from diseases. We suffer from rejection. We suffer from indisciplined children. We suffer from partners who uh, are out also to frustrate us in one way or the other. These are things that we go through. We suffer relationships that are not working. The Lord allows us to go through all this. All these things come our way. Not always because we have sinned. But so that as I said earlier on, we can have an opportunity we can celebrate together with Christ. That when these things come our way, we overcome them. If our Lord Jesus overcame, we have no reason not to overcome. We are encouraged by Paul not to focus on today's suffering, but on tomorrow's glory. If we go through these storms, we go through these storms without understanding then we are bound to focus on the suffering and not the glory that comes there after the Lord is preparing us for eternity so this is the preparation that we go through now how many of us I think most of us must have gone to school to some level how many of us like tests how many of us like tests how many of us like tests so that every time they say there is a test to celebrate. Even in my old age, I used to go to school and they would ask us what is the test. And I would say it's a test to celebrate. But how many of us again would like to go to some hospital? Then you meet some genuine doctor. Na madaktari wenyewe wazuri who will tell you uh, my patient I'm here as your doctor but I used to avoid tests when I was being trained I used to avoid but here I am I want to treat you how many of us are here that you are comfortable with that doctor you will say hey, allow me some time of you will say allow me some time of so what am I saying about tests? They are not very good as such. Well. Let us not be like that. 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 Let us not be like that
but we must face them. Lakini sharti tupitie. As children of God. Kama wana wa Mungu. We must face them. Lazima tukutane na Mungu. Some daily basis. Wakati mwingine kila siku. Sometimes you think you overcome this one another one comes. Wakati mwingine wazani umemalizana na hii na nyingine inakuja. But we are not supposed to get tired. Lakini hatupaswi kuchoka. Because if we get tired. Kwa sababu tukichoka and then the dark crown is not before us. Basi hiyo taji haitakuwa yetu. Paul uh, urges us to forge ahead. Paulo anatuasa tuangazie mbele. In Romans katika Warumi Romans 8:36 Warumi 8:36 He says anasema as it is written for you are set we first death all day long we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered kama ilivyoandikwa ya kwamba kwa ajili yako tuauao wa mchana kutwa tumehesabiwa kama kuwa kama kondoo wa kuchinjwa brethren wapendwa that is where we are hapo ndipo tulipo that is where we are almost on our daily basis hapo ndipo tulipo karibia kila siku we are faced with situations tunakumbana na hali some of them we wonder now this one will I be managed zingine tunajiuliza kweli hii tutamudu but as long as you have on to the lord lakini ni mradi unamshikilia yesu we manage tunaweza all himself manage paulo mwenyewe aliweza who are we not to manage sisi ni akina nani tusiweze the lord jesus christ managed at the cross bwana wetu yesu kristo alimudu pale msalabani despite the good things that he did the good works kama na mambo mazuri aliyoyafanya a moment came kulikuja muda when they said we must crucify him waliposema ya kwamba lazima asulubishwe he accepted it alikubali yote Sisi ni akina nani tusikubali? Our part is to ask for God's grace. Sehemu yetu ni kuuliza neema ya Mungu. He who called us. Yeye aliyetuita. He's faithful enough to take us through. Ni mwaminifu kutupitisha hapo. As long as we focus on him every day of our lives. Ni mradi tumtazamie kila siku ya maisha yetu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now because of time I don't think I'll go into part Maybe I just mentioned. Examples of men of God who went through suffering. Ifana yao watu wamungu walopitia mateso. Ah, maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so that we can read them. Maybe I just read out this reading so One to twelve. We all understand how the devil came to ask for permission to test Job. We also learn how Job uh, chose to praise the Lord and not to ask Him. At one point, uh, Job said, "I am not the Lord." At one point, he also questioned God. At one point, he also questioned God. But he did not trust him. But he did not trust him. And so God saw how faithful he was. And he restored twice as much what he had lost. So if Job went through it, what did we not do? Job went through it. What did we not do? We have a role to play. To cling unto this God who has called us. To cling unto this God who has called us. To cling unto this God who has called us. Na atatupitisha. Daudi pia alipitia mawimbi mengi. After he was anointed as king of Israel. Baada ya kutoa mafuta kama mfalme wa Israeli. He was tormented by King Saul for a while. Alisumbuliwa na mfalme Sauli kwa muda. He did not give up. Hakukata tamaa. He kept calling upon his God. Aliendelea kumuitia Mungu wake. In fact, you read through most of the Psalms in uh, the Bible. Kwanza tunaposoma Zaburi nyingi kwenye Biblia. David is asking God not to forsake him in those songs. Daudi anamuuliza Mungu asimwache kwenye hizo Zaburi. Just an example read through Psalms 142. Mfano kitu soma Zaburi ya 142. And that was one. Kwanza mstari wa kwanza. 
I cry aloud to the Lord, I lift up my voice to the Lord for mercy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, David is one person who knew that he would go through all temptations, all tests like any other human being. But he knew where to go there after. Every moment he found himself in a mistake. He asked for mercy from his God. It is no wonder that uh, the Lord refers to him as a man, he testifies of him as a man after his own heart. It's not that he did not sin to God. He did not sin to God. But every time he sinned, he realized that he needed to go back to his creator. Who alone would help him to come? Who alone would help him to come? So let us emulate David in our life. Even as we go through these storms, we can also make reference to Moses. We know how he was in the wilderness. We know how the children of Israel gave him a hard time. And every time he went back and pleaded with God. And God by his mercies allowed him to lead his people up to where he left. All these men of God knew that with God everything is possible. That is what we are supposed to do today. That there is no situation that is impossible before our God. Our part is to go back to Him. And He's merciful enough. He gets us back to where we are supposed to be. And to reject our part is to pass our cure. So we can get our strength from these servants of God. The Bible is full of them. Just to encourage us that this life is what it is because of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, please, I want to make reference to why God allows us to go through storms. Why does God allow us to go through storms? Why does God allow us to go through storms? Why does God allow storms in our lives? Why does God allow storms in our lives? One. Yeah, Kwanza. This is because God's desire is not to destroy us. He ni kwa sababu tamani ola mungu sio kutuharibu, but to develop a deeper faith and fruitfulness for His glory. Lakini kutegemeza imani ya kilindi ni na uamini fuzaidi kwa jili ya utukufuake. Praise the Lord. Amen. As we all know. Uh, as I said earlier on, when we go through the education system, we go through a lot of testing. But we don't learn how to read and write. Not because our teachers just enjoy it. Not because they want to punish us. But because our teachers want to present something that is. Something that has been well prepared. 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 This one has a long reference. You will also read it in your own time. Matthew 14, 22 to 33. It is that story where Jesus was on the sea. Uh huh. He called upon. No, in fact, it's Peter who called upon him. He wondered why he was. On water until he could not. So he allows him. He tells him, "Come." Then we know that the story how it goes. Then we know the story how it goes. Then at some point, Peter loses faith. 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 
that the Lord allows us Mungu to go through these storms. And once we go through these storms and emerge successfully, we are in a better position even to help others who may find themselves in such moments. Two, storms disturb our comfort zone. They cause us to seek the face of God in prayer. They cause us to seek the face of God in prayer. So God uses these storms to stir up the desperation in us. Out of this desperation, Kumtaka sana Mungu. We seek him in prayer. Tunamtafuta kwa kuomba. Passionate prayer so to say. Maombi yenye kumakinika kama ninavyosema. And it is true that is what the Lord does. Na ni kweli Mungu anafanya hivyo. Sometimes in life you be doing your own things and it's like you've forgotten that God lives. Muda mwingine unatenda mambo yako tu na unasahau kwamba Mungu yupo. Sometimes you can even forget and brag a little and say ah I've done this I've done the other one. Muda mwingine tunajisahau kidogo na tunajigamba nimeweza hili nimeweza lile. Then a moment comes. Na muda unafika. It is like you are down there. Then you realize, oh, so it was not me. You go back to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when we go through these storms, it is what we are doing through the storms that comes. We shouldn't allow storms to destroy us. We should allow them to develop our faith. We should allow them to develop our faith. That faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That faith that our God can do all things. Whether it's in sickness or not. Whether it is in love. That the Lord is able to provide. Praise the Lord. Amen. Point number three: Why God allows storms in our lives? He uses storms to test us on what we have learned about Him and His promises. Anaruhusu mitihani ijo kutupima ni nini tumejifunza kutoka kwake na ahadi zake. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our brethren, we enjoy it. Kwa pelo tunaifurahia. When we are taught by our bishop here. Tunapofundishu wapa na skofu wetu. By these pastors here. Na hawa chungaji hapa. We like it. Tunaipenda sana. We enjoy it. Tunaifurahikia. But do we ever know that we shall be tested on those teachings? Lakini je, tunajua kwa mba tutajaribiwa pelikana na yale mafundisho. Because if you have been taught. Kwa sababu kama umefundishwa. Then there should be a moment to show that you are understanding. Otherwise, how would we know? How would God know that my children really follow the teachings? Mungu atajua jo kumbwa au atajua wana skiliza mafundisho. That is how He allows tests. Ivo ni wana moroso mitihani. So that our understanding of His word. Ilu wele wawe tuani nolake. His promises. Ahadi zake. Can be revealed. Jinaweza kuonyesha. Can be revealed. Jinaweza kuonyesha. Can be revealed. Can be revealed. Jinaweza kuonyesha. Can be revealed. Praise the Lord. Amen. So every time we sit before uh, servants of God and we are being taught. Every time we read the Bible and God gives us some revelation. Remember, it will be put to some test to one of these Kumbuka, things. Just a look good, isn't it? But that is the truth. That will be tested. Now when we get to this place where people are doing funny things. Or when we get to this home where there's this mama who is very sick. And she has given up, it's like she's saying I wish I could die. How are you reading the word that you are taught me? Unaletaje neno lofundisho kwenye maisha yake? Kumsaidia aendelee kuishi. Kumsaidia awe na tumaini. Kwamba na Mungu yote yawezekana. Kwa hivyo hali sharti zije kwetu. So that then God in his glory can know what type of children he has. Ili Bwana katika utukufu wake apate kujua watoto wa aina gani alionao. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, temptations and tests and you know, all these kinds of things. They come our way. So that 
ili kwamba tuwatie moyo na wenzetu ambao watajikuta kwenye hali kama hizo the way you overcame your challenge namna ulivyoshinda hiyo ya kwako the way you overcame your hardship namna ulivyoshinda huo ugumu it is the same way you will also advise this your friend ni kwa njia hiyo hiyo utamsaidia na mwenzako praise the lord amen so that we are not just crying every other person is just crying the other one is just crying there is no help anywhere ili kwamba tusijikute sisi wote tunalia kila mtu analia hakuna msaada kwa mwingine so when the lord allows us to be kwa bwana anaposaidia tuwe wakamilifu wacha tuwe wakushukuru sana najua sio rahisi sio lakini kumbuka hicho ndicho bwana anakitenda kwetu ilisaidia na wazetu ambao wanachoka ilisaidia huyo ambaye anaanza kujitia kitanzi amen We can make reference to the book of Luke. Tunaweza angazia kitabu cha Luka 22 Shilini na 31 to 34. 31 31. Simon Simon Satan has asked to steal you as wheat. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Akasema, Simioni, Simioni, tazama. Shetani amekutaka akupepete kama ngano. Lakini nimekuombea, wewe ili imani yako isitindike, nawe utakapoongoka waimarishe na ndugu zako. But he replied, Lord I'm ready to go with you to prison and to death. Akamwambia, Bwana, ni wapo pamoja nawe. Mimi ni tayari kwenda gerezani au hata kifoni. Jesus answered, I tell you Peter, before the rooster crows today, you will deny three times that you know me. Yesu akasema na kwambia Petro, jogo hata wika leo kabla wewe hujanikana mara tatu ya kuwa hujui. Now in this uh, scripture kwenye mafundisho haya we understand where Peter was tunajifunza kule alikokuwa Petro These are the last moments of Jesus on earth Haya ni msimu wa mwisho kabisa Yesu akiwa kwenye ulimwengu He was about to be handed over for crucifixion Alikuwa anakaribia kuachiliwa kwa ajili ya kusulubishwa He knew what was going to happen Alijua kile ambacho kinamsubiri He knew that none of his uh, disciples would understand Alijua kwamba hamna mwanafunzi yeyote ambaye angeiweza. Because God understands us. Kwa sababu Mungu anatuelewa. So he allowed Peter to go through this. Alimruhusu Petro apitie haya. He allows Peter to talk with so much confidence. Anamruhusu Petro aongee kwa ujasiri mkuu. That I can even go to death. Kwa sababu hata niweza enda na wewe hapo kifoni. Then before long. Lakini kabla muda hujaenda sana. That moment came. Muda huo unafika. And it is true that Peter denied him. Na ni kweli kabisa Peter alikana. But what happens to Peter when he realizes later on what he did? Nini kinatokea wakati Petro anagundua baadaye alichokitenda? He went back to the Lord in repentance. Anamrejelea Bwana kwa toba. He asked God to remember mercy upon him. Anamwambia Mungu akumbuke rehema juu yake. And this explains why later on now in ministry. Na inaelezea kwa nini baadaye kwenye huduma Peter was a very staunch man. Petro alikuwa ni mtu mwenye nguvu sana. He could not be convinced by anybody. Angeweza kutikiswa na mtu yeyote. To know deny the faith that he had accepted. Ili kwamba aikane imani aliyokuwa ameikubali. He was tested and he overcame. Alikuwa amejaribiwa na akashinda. By God's grace he overcame. Kwa rehema za Mungu alishinda. So now later on God was able to him. Kwa baadaye Mungu angeweza kumwajibisha. The Lord Jesus knew that this one I cannot deny me a fourth time. Bwana akajua kwamba sasa huyu hawezi kunikana tena kwa mara nyingine. And that explains why we see Peter doing all the things that he does. Na hiyo inaelezea kwa nini tunamwona Petro akifanya yale yote aliyoyatenda. He has that boldness. Alikuwa na ule ujasiri. Because he 
kwa sababu alikuwa alipitia yale majira ya giza katika maisha yake. It was a moment of growth for Peter. Ilikuwa ni msimu wa muda kwa Peter kukua. And it helped him much later now when Jesus was not there. Na ilimsaidia baadaye kabisa Yesu akiwa ameondoka. Because he stood firm. Kwa sababu alisimama imara. And to what he knew about the Lord. Kwa kila alichokijua kumhusu Bwana. And that is why today. Na ndio maana leo we are able to refer to him. Tunaweza kumwangazia. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it's not for nothing that we go through storms of life. Sio kwa kule kama tunapitia mawimbi ya maisha. The Lord has various reasons as to why. Bwana ana sababu nyingi kwa nini tunapitia. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or now as I stand up. Kwa hiyo ninapotamatisha or you will write down again this uh, reading so that you can read in your own time. Utaandika tena ili fungu utasoma kwa muda wako. A few tips to overcome storms. Naam au mbinu za kuweza kushinda mawimbi. Praise the Lord. Amen. One. Ya kwanza, stand, take a stand for Christ. Chukua msimamo kwa ajili ya Kristo. The Bible tells us somewhere that if we feel ashamed of the Lord, he'll be ashamed of us one of these. Biblia inatuambia kwamba tukimwaibikia Bwana na yeye kuna siku atatuaibikia. So you accepted Jesus Christ. Kwa hiyo mkubali Yesu Kristo. The Lord and Savior. Kama Bwana na mwokozi, depend him. Hebu simama naye. Depend him wherever you go. Simama naye popote unapoenda. Uh, Mark 8:38. Mark 8:38. Uh, read that later. Utaisoma hiyo baadaye. 2. Ya pili. Submit unto the Lord and resist the devil. Jiwa jiwa silisha kwa mungu na umpinge shetani. James chapter four. Yakobo ne. Verse seven to eight. Saba na nane. We are encouraged. Tunatiwa moyo. To submit unto our Lord. Kujiwa silisha kwa bana wetu. The Lord who has called us. Bana abaya ametuita. To serve Him in various ways. Umtumekia kwa jia tofa tofa. Submit to him. Then we have the power to resist the devil. And that is how we shall fare on in this life. Because we realize that we cannot do it on our own. So let us cling on to him who called us. By submitting to him. All the days of our life. He is not submitting to them tomorrow you are doing your own. Kwake leo hakikisha unatenda mambo yako. Ni siku zote za maisha yetu. So that we can fight our battle. Ili apigane vita yetu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Point number 3. Ya tatu. Pray always and with confidence. Omba bila kukoma na kwa ujasiri. Um, first John. Ya rakao kwanza wa Yohana 5:14. Tano 14. First John 5 Baraka kwanza wa Yohana 5:14. This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us. Na huu ndio ujasiri tuliyonao kwake ya kuwa tukiomba kila kitu sawa sawa na mapenzi yake atusikia. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is for us to pray always. Ni kwetu sisi kuomba siku zote. Because we are told that our enemy is always waiting for us. Na tunaambiwa Luis siku zote anatusubiri. Looking for every small loophole. Kutafuta kila mwanya mdogo. To attack us. Ili atushambulie. So it is for us to pray always. Kwa hiyo ni sisi kuomba bila kukoma. And with a lot of confidence in our God. Na pamoja na ujasiri katika wito wetu. That he will be done a good work in us and complete it. Kwa hiyo yule anaanzisha kazi nzuri ndani mwetu ataitamatisha. We all uh, have read the story of this woman who went borrowing in the night. Tumesoma hadithi ya woman who came kwenda kuomba usiku. And it's like the master was not waking up to give her what she wanted. Kama vile bwana wake hakuwa anamka kumpa kile alichohitaji. She persisted. Lakini aliendelea because after all she knew that the master had all that she wanted that moment. Alijua fika kwamba huyu bwana ana kile anachokihitaji kwa muda huu. She continued knocking. With all the confidence. Na ujasiri wote. And indeed we are told in that story that she was given what she wanted. Na hakika tunapokuja hadithi kwamba alipewa kile alichokihitaji. Mangapi zaidi Mungu atatenda kwetu? Kama hatutakata tamaa katika kuomba. Kama hatutakata tamaa katika kumtafuta. Don't give up in doing this way. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then finally on that, musho kabisa kwa hiyo. Accept God's promises in our lives. Zikubali ya hadi za mungu maisha ni mwetu. And every time you have an issue, kila muda unakwa na swala. Know which 
portion of scripture to apply. Because God has given us very many promises. These promises are for us to claim on. These promises are for us to remind me. That Lord, you are not one to lie. You are not going to lie to me in this situation. If we do that, the Lord will see us through. The Bible says in Romans 8, verse 38. Verse 38. Romans 8 at 8. The Bible says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers. 39. Kwa maana nimekwisha kujua hakika ya kwamba wala mauti, wala uzima, wala malaika, wala wenye mamlaka yaliyopo. Neither height nor death nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Wala yatakayo kuwapo, wala wenye uwezo, wala yenye uchu. Amen. The Bible encourages us. Nothing should move us. Sickness should not move us. Delays in our lives should not move us. Rejection should not Move us. Nothing should separate us from the love of God. Nothing completely. So every time we encounter these things, we remember to remind God of them. To remind Him of His promises of our life. To remind Him of His promises of our life. And God is faithful. He is not man to lie. He is not man to lie. He will do it. He will perfect us even for His own glory. Praise the Lord. Let us not think we are not able to do every other time we face challenges. Let us not always think that the Lord has left us. Because he has promised that he will never forsake us. Those who trust in him will never put them to shame. So remind him that I will not be the first one to be put to shame. But the Lord will do it. It may take a while. Because he also tells us to pray patiently. Wait upon him patiently. But let us not give up. The Lord is faithful. The Bible tells us that the Bible tells us that we also have not been left we have been given weapons with which to overcome. The Bible tells us that we also have not been left empty-handed. We have been given weapons with which to overcome. The Bible tells us that we also have not been left empty-handed. We have been given weapons with which to overcome. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Every time we go through these challenges, we just plead the blood of Jesus. The Lord will show us up for us. The Lord will help us. Let us not lose hope. We are not going to be left empty. 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 That there is none who went through life 100% without issues. And therefore, that is what we should know. That nobody on the face of the earth enjoys hard times. Nobody enjoys hard times. Nobody enjoys hard times. Nobody enjoys storms. But all the same, they come. It's not until Jesus comes for us that we shall rest. So we have a time to be patient. Yes, 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 we have a time to be patient. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's my prayer that uh, situations of life, storms of life, 
issues that really touch us. Maswala yanayotugusa sana. They not let us forsake our Lord. Hayata tufanye tumwache Mwana. He has promised us. Kwa sababu ametuhaidi. There is eternal life there after. Kama kuna uzima wa milele baada ya hii. As Paul put it. Kama Paulo anavyosema. If we run this race. Tukikimbia hii ndio. Knowing where we are heading. Tukijua kule tunakoelekea. Then we shall look at all the other things as rubbish. Utaangalia mambo mengine yote kama uchafu. We shall even look at the storms as Zole ama wimbi kama nitakataka Na tumaendelea kututumia mbele Na kile mbana ame tuandalia Ni kikuza hili ya wele tunawapitia mbana hili Ata mbana kama huo maisha ya hivyo kama ya hivyo Wakati kuna kilio sana kutoka kwa wanadamu Sio kama mbana hajui Lakini bado anataka tumuitie ya Na za tupitisha kwenye chama moto zile tunazoza kutia